KDP Notebook Tutorial, how to create a notebook for Amazon KDP. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a notebook for Amazon KDP using Canva for free. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go on to kdp.amazon.com and over here, you're going to select the template for your book cover. So uh, let's say if you want to create a notebook um, that is six by nine inches, you're gonna select that. So I'm gonna go with the six by nine inch cover template and then you're going to add your page count. So how many pages do you want to create in your notebook? Let's say you want to create 120 and then you choose your paper color and then you're just going to click on download cover template. Now, once you have downloaded it, you're just going to extract that image. Once you have extracted the image, what you're going to do is you're going to open up your image and then you're going to go on to canva.com. From here, you're going to convert this from pixels into inches and then you're going to add the width and height. So it's six by nine, but uh, you have to add six by six. So that's 12 inches and then you have the height of nine inches but then you have to account for the spine of the book which is going to be different according to the number of pages you have but i already have made my calculation so for me the book cover is going to be 12.5 and then it's going to be 9.25. And the reason that it even has 2.5 at the height is because of the bleed of the book cover. Now, the bleed is basically the section where your paper is going to be cut off. So you want to make sure that the design engulfs the entire book cover. So that is why you have to account for the bleed of your book cover. And I'll just click on create new design over here. Make sure it is inches and not pixels. And this is just going to open up a blank canvas for you to get started with your design. Now, once you have your blank canvas, you're just going to go into your uploads and you're going to upload media and you're going to upload the template that you just downloaded from Amazon KDP. And after that, once you have uploaded it, you're just going to open it up over here. You're going to place it at one corner. And if you have done your measurements correctly, it should fit perfectly onto your canvas like it fits on mine right here. So you can see it's six inches. This area is six inches. This is six inches. Then you have your book spine depending on the number of pages. And then this red section is the bleed that I was talking about. The bleed of the uh, book cover is basically where the book will be trimmed or where the uh, book will be cut. So you need to make sure that the design is filling out those sections as well. Now, once you have uploaded this onto your basic canvas, you're just going to click on transparency over here and you're going to reduce the transparency to around 37 percent and then you're just going to lock this so the reason that i lock this is so i don't move it later on now i can get started with designing my notebook so first off i'm just going to go on to the element section i'm just going to search for background and I'm just gonna go with a plain background. So I'm just going to search for anything that I like. It could be a photo, it could be a graphic image. You can add basically anything. Now, this is just where you actually start designing your notebook. So I am just taking a look at the different designs over here. And I think I'm gonna go with this kind of gradient look. And I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to place it at the edges. And I'm just going to expand it. I'm waiting for this to properly load onto my screen so I can show you guys. And I'm also going to decrease the transparency of this as well. The reason that I'm doing that is to make sure that uh, I'm able to see the uh, template that I applied on the back and I'm able to create, you know, the rest of my design accordingly. But I'm just going to expand this so the gradient part like really fills out the entire page. So we're just going to expand it like this. And once I have done that, I'm just going to go back into my element section and I'm going to search for um, stroke. So it's not a stroke, it's like a paint stroke. So you can just search for brush stroke or paint stroke, whatever you might want. So I'm just going to search for that and I'm just going to take a simple little stroke. So now I have added like this simple little section and the reason that I added this like plain little um, paint stroke is for people to be able to write their names on their notebook. So after adding that, I'm going to go into the text section on the left over here. You can take one of their pre-made fonts or you can just select the simple fonts, but I do recommend trying out their pre-made fonts because they are pretty good. But I'm just going to use a simple font over here and I'm just going to write this notebook belongs to and then you're just going to add that. I'm going to resize it like this and I'm going to do that like so and I'm going to change the color onto white like this and I'm going to place it right above the white paint stroke that I uh, placed on the front of my book cover and I'm just going to go and I'm going to go into the effect section 
and I'm going to give it a hollow look or maybe I just want a shadowed look for my text and I'm just gonna add like this green little blue little shadow to my overall text. Now once you have done that you're gonna go back into your element section and you can start adding more design elements to your uh, notebook so for example I want this to be a bit floral so I'm just gonna search for flowers and I'm gonna add like a few flowers on the back of the book cover as well as the borders. So I'm just gonna go into the graphic section instead of the photos or videos or audio, you can just move directly to the graphic section. And from here, I'm just gonna wait for these flowers to load up and I'm going to pick out something that I like. So usually it doesn't take this long. I don't know why it is taking so long right now. So I'm just going to take one of these floral designs over here and I'm going to change the color onto like a dark green. And I'm just going to place it at the back. I'm going to rotate it a bit. I'm going to flip this horizontally like this so i'm just gonna place it like so or maybe i'm gonna place it at the top over here like this i'm just to like give like a frame to my overall book cover and i'm just gonna do Control c and Control v and i'm gonna flip this like so and i'm gonna place it at the front border as well like this and obviously you can design it accordingly but you can add more elements if you want. I want to keep this a bit simple, so I'm just going to leave it at that. Now, once you have completed your design, what you're going to do is you're just going to click on your canvas over here. You're going to click on unlock, then you're just going to click on delete. So this will delete the template that you placed at the back at the start. And once you have deleted that, you can just click on your background image and you can click on the transparency and you can make it 100% opaque. Now, uh, after making it opaque, I've realized that the flowers are not looking at very bright. So I'm just going to click on the flowers. And instead of green, I'm going to make them white so they are a bit more visible on the book cover. Now, once you have designed your book cover, you're just going to click on download over here and then you can download it as a PDF. Now, this is just your book cover. Now, after you have designed your book cover for your notebook on Canva, what you're going to do is design your internal pages. Now, it's pretty simple to design your actual internal pages. What you're just going to do is you're going to add the width and height in inches. So I am doing a six by nine inch book, so I'm just going to add six by nine and I'm just going to click on create new design and this will open up a blank canvas. Now you can design your notebook pages uh, in simple blind pages or I would recommend that you do some design elements in your notebook pages as well. So for that you can just go into the element section in Canva and what you're going to do is you're going to take the flowers that you use to put on your book cover and you can just place them on the borders of the pages and this can really make a really nice effect. But before I do that I like to go into lines and shapes and you're just going to take like a simple line from the lines and shapes. I'm just going to open that up. Yeah, so I'm just going to go in lines and shapes and I'm going to take a simple black line. I'm going to place it at the top over here. I'm going to expand it till the other purple line. So you're just going to take these black lines and I'm just going to make sure it's at zero degrees. And I'm just going to do control C and control V. And I'm going to make sure it is aligned right beneath the initial line that I placed. I'm just going to make sure of that. And I'm just going to do control C, control V. Take the line, drag it like this to make sure it's correctly placed. And I'm just going to do that and I'm going to align these using my... Uh, keyboard and once I have done that I can just select them all together and I can just do Control C and then Control V and then I can copy and paste the entire section like that obviously it depends on what kind of line pages you are creating you can create like um, larger line pages or you can create like separate sections as well if you want so I'm just gonna go and copy and paste place it down below copy and paste paste it down below copy and paste like this I'm just going to keep on doing that until my paper is filled out like that. So I'm just going to take this entire section and place it like so. Now, after that, what you can do is I'm going to take the flower that I took in the book cover design, this one, and I'm just going to expand it like so. I'm going to click on send backward. And what I'm going to just do is I'm going to change the color onto the light blue or light green color that I used in the book cover. And I'm going to click on transparency. I'm going to increase the transparency. You can also make it gray if you want. 
so like this you can have like a pretty little design at the back and make sure that the uh, lines should be gray so they shouldn't be black you're gonna change the color onto gray and then you can just click on duplicate page duplicate page duplicate page and you can duplicate this page as many times if you want and then uh, you can create the internal pages of your notebook you can also do is you can just create like after you've created like 10 pages you can delete the flower from the back like so and then you can add like a different kind of flower on the top or you can add like a different design element like this so you can just click on send backward and instead of like having you know the same kind of flowers on all of the pages you can have a bit of variety so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to create your notebooks for amazon kdp using canva make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video